Eight to two, your final score here at the Huntington Center as the Toledo Walleye pick up win number 50 on the season. They clinch the regular season title. The Brabham Cup is what is given out to the Toledo uh, Walleye as that'll be the first time in Walleye history that they will own that, the third time in Toledo ECHL history. They have finished with the most points in the ECHL. Matt Melzak, Ron Bersinski back with you. Rob, let's take a look at the highlights from this game, and uh, I'll tell you what, it didn't look great uh, except for this to start the game. Uh, Tyler Elbrecht setting the tone against uh, Ben Wilson. Yeah, you can tell that the, the rivalry uh, was there that was on display from the drop of the puck, and you know Tyler Elbrecht certainly gets a, a couple of haymakers in there, and uh, down they go. But then uh, Kalamazoo give them credit you know, on the power play right off the bat. There you see it. They, they take the lead. And so, uh, you know, following a loss last night in Kalamazoo and, and going down one goal, this is the response from Toledo. Yeah, they needed a response, and they got it in a big-time way. They score four goals in the first period, Rob, and all right in succession to really open up that three-goal lead, and Kalamazoo really didn't threaten much the rest of the game. Yeah, the wicked wrister from Jenks, and, uh, boy, just some, some more Zarnowsen with a great shot. He collected the puck and, and shot up and beat Martin up high, and uh, the onslaught began, and here comes Holmstrom with his goal. Yeah, right on the rebound. Four goals in uh, basically three minutes for the Toledo Walleye that uh, gave them the three-goal lead after one in the second period. A.J. Jenks right away makes it a 5-1 lead. Boy, what a move. You're thinking he's going backhand roof job, and then he pulls it back with that long reach and tucks it in. What a highlight real goal that was from Jenks. Yeah, shrugs his shoulders. Nah, no problem, right? Uh, Kalamazoo, though, gets one here. They close to within three, and as Toledo has done a lot this year, Rob, they have owned the third period. Yep, and there's Barnes you see right there with the goal. And uh, you're right, they were down. They were, they were up by three, and, and they poured it on. They kept it going. And, and then right away, Barnes came right back with yet another on the power play. There's the one that gives him the hat trick. Of course, he is now the uh, single-season walleye leader in points after three goals tonight. A.J. Jenks, he wouldn't be denied either. How about that? Two hat tricks in the same game, Rob. I'm glad somebody finally threw the hat on the ice to recognize Jenks' hat trick as well, Matt. Yeah, it was good to see, and of course, uh, the tempers continued to flare after that point. But uh, boy, a uh, dominating win for the Toledo Walleye. What a statement and a nice job. Fans were yelling for him, and the Walleye came back out to salute the faithful that have been outstanding all season long supporting this club. That's what you like to see. And in the end, the uh, power plays were a wash, one on each side. And so, boy, boy, five on five, they just dominated tonight, Matt. And what a good bounce back from the win uh, here. I mean, the loss in you know Kalamazoo, they, again, this team just doesn't go through these losing streaks. And they bounce back even down one nothing here and ended up winning 8-2. Well, that bodes well for you when you're in the playoffs because you know you're going to drop a game at some point. Nobody just rips through the playoffs. Uh, uh, without a loss so at some point it's going to happen as long as you don't get those consecutive ones that can really get you behind the eight ball in a playoff series. 